Hello, it's Bobby, aka Paginator. Don't adjust your CV sets or phones or computers. This is a Timu haul, but we're just starting off with a little something extra. So my Sticky Club stickers happened to arrive on the same day as my Timu um, order. So I thought, you know what, let's throw these into the video. It's a sticker subscription pack. Um, it's called Sticky Club. And I can link that for you in the space below. Every month they send out a sticker pack. And you can choose like vintage or cute. Or I think the other one's called pop. Um, so this is for the month of February. Swan Lake is the theme. So they, it all comes in this plastic sheet. And then there's this little sticker that has the theme. So you can pop that down there. And then if you put these in a binder, you can flip through and go, oh, yep, that's the one I'm looking for. Looks like we've got a stamp here that's a feather. I might have to test that out here in a minute. This is a little notebook. Oh, it's got like some plasticky covered paper. What would you use that for? Hmm. Cute cover though. And then in the back we have the big pocket which has got the most of the items here. So this sticker pack has um, black and white musical instruments. Oh here we have some beautiful ballerinas. Here's some more feathers. Black and white feathers. Here we've got some that just are different elements from the story of Swan Lake, it appears. So we've got a swan and a castle and another swan and some other fun, fancy things. Oh, this is a uh, Claude Monet stickers. We've got um, some stickers that are like prints of his paintings. That's really, really gorgeous. Some more little ballerinas more swans and then we have a card here they've been including some cards oh we got a couple of cards um, so we've got this beautiful print here and the back is just like a postcard kind of blank space for writing and then we have this one here I don't know how well you can see but there's a lady over here all in white and the back of that is also just blank space so really really pretty I think we should test the stamps I've got a little notebook here and this is actually something that came in my last Timu haul I'm gonna grab my ink pad and an acrylic block so that we can test the stamp and I know that we're gonna be getting lots of stamps in the Timu haul so we might as well just test them all today all right we've got the stamp on the block and it's inked up and let's give it a go oh the little spiral thing got in the way dang it that's a cute feather getting blocked by the spiral. Okay, how are we going to turn this? There we go. Like that. Aha! That looks really nice. All right, I'm going to set that stamping stuff out of the way, and then we'll save any stamps that we get, and we can test them at the end of the video. We've got quite a big bag. One of the items is going to be large, and then we've got some smaller things. So I think we should start with the big item. So this is a wall hanging with a light that, as you can see, says platform nine and three quarters. Um, the last time I checked on Timu, this was sold out. But if you wanted to search it up on there, um, look for Magic Potter's Nightlight LED Hangings Wall Lamps. Um, it does take two AAA batteries, which are not included, but I should have some of those. So it comes with this um, mounting bracket that is metal and we have these um, little mounting items as well, screws, etc. And of course the light. So I'm going to go um, check and see if I've got any batteries and I will be right back with you. So unfortunately all I have is AA batteries, um, but what I will do is before this video gets uploaded, I will go get some triple A's, I'll get this thing lit up, take a picture, and I will insert it here for you to take a look at. All 
All right, so we'll set this aside for now and get into the crafty supply. As I said, there are going to be some stamps. I also got some metal cutting dies um, and some other items. So we'll just kind of start grabbing stuff and dive right in. We've got this little collection here that's called Antique Collection. It's going to be some ephemera bits and some paper. That's just a few of the papers. I didn't show you all of them, but we don't have time to look at every single piece and every little bits and bobs. So I want to take a second just to say that this Timu haul, as I'm sitting here filming it, this is as much for me as it is for you guys. It's Valentine's Day while I'm filming this. And as a middle school teacher, I hate Valentine's Day. Like, I'm using the word hate. Okay, I don't throw around that word um, lightly. It is a terrible day in middle school. So if anyone out there is also a middle school teacher and you've survived Valentine's Day again this year, congratulations, good job, I feel your pain. <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside of here. Aha, so we have stamps. And these stamps look kind of like mailing stamps. So we've got, uh, this one says US postage, airmail, Washington DC, Classified, U.S. Postage, Brooklyn, New York, Airmail, Kalamazoo, Michigan, U.S. Postage paid by Airmail or Par Avion. So those will be fun. These stamps are little birds in various poses. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. I was thinking they were going to be slightly bigger. Um, I might not have paid the closest of attention to the measurements on the, the description when I was shopping, but they're cute little birds. Now these are not stamps. These are little trinkets. Um, they're like rubber. And I'm not sure why I put these in my cart, to be honest. I, I think I can peel these, this backing piece off and like add these to... Oh, I remember why. Because they're Alice in Wonderland themed. And I, I thought, you know, like every or almost every junk journal out, out there, I need to do something Alice in Wonderland themed at some point. <laughs> Um, so you can see this is like the little door, um, door hole. What's that thing called? Anyway, um, there's a teacup. We'll just kind of spill out the rest of these here. There's the white rabbit. A little tag that says eat me. Alice using the friends letters. <laughs> Cheshire cat. Paradise. That's confusing. A teapot, a bow, Alice, a crown, off with their heads, some keys, another crown, Wonderland, top hat, there's a silhouette of Alice, castle, and a pocket watch. I got two um, boxes of these matte black um, stick on nails. I really like the matte black in terms of fingernails. Oops, found another one. I guess I ordered three. Okay, we have a bunch of these paper packs and I got one in my last Timu order and I liked it so much that I hopped on and got more. So they do come with this little vellum band that's that goes around them. Oh my gosh, okay. Am I going to be able to show you that? Look at that fancy schmancy print there. Um, how did I get this one off the last time? I think I peeled it. So this one, the product name was Vintage Paper. And you can see that there's just a lot. Um, we've got typewriters. We've got fancy ladies.
right, we've got a couple of packs of um, butterfly stickers. Um, this pack, I believe, is like creamy colors, maybe some neutrals. I really like this one right here. And this pack is going to be darker, a lot of black butterflies, which I think are gorgeous. Um, ooh, what's that? Which are you? Okay, I'm trying to find this one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Lots of really pretty butterflies in this package that are falling all over the place. Sorry, I had to answer the door. The UPS lady was there delivering some stuff. All right, what else have we got? Okay, we've got some more. Um, another one of these little packs with paper and ephemera. This is called Retro Impression. All right, so here you can see some of the little ephemera pieces. I'm not going to go through each one of them individually because there's too many, but we've got, we've got some stamp-looking ones and some tickets, tags, little bits of paper, round pieces. And here's a look at some of the paper. Here we've got another fun item. Okay, so these are some little um, bottles that would be useful again for an Alice in Wonderland project. So this one says drink me and this one says eat me and there's a little mushroom and they come on silver chains. Um, I could take them apart though and add them to like a tassel or something for an Alice junk journal. Um, I'm still not entirely sure when I will make it, but I've got some good things started to use on it. Speaking of which, here are some more stamps. We've got some circle nesting dies. This is a pack of stickers that are designed to look like postage stamps. So we've got some girl's legs, <laughs> butterfly, drink me potion bottle. Oh, maybe this is Alice also. Yep, rabbit. Yeah, this has got to be top hat. So more Alice stuff. Really, I really like when I placed this order was really thinking of getting going on an Alice journal straight away. I also have, I have so many ideas for journaling and crafting stuff, you guys. Like, I have way more video ideas for crafting than I do for the bookish stuff. I, my, my brain is, like, popping with all this stuff going on. Um, thank you for watching and participating with me on all of it. <laughs> more stamps. We've got a big mushroom here. Um, a little birdhouse. These are like kind of bird themed, a, um, home tweet home, a little birdie told me, um, this one says it's your birthday, which I probably won't use cause I'm not a card maker really. Um, cut another mushroom, some pots here, like flower pots, little bird. This is going to take me forever to test these stamps. I'll tell you what more stamps these are a set that you could use with like differing shades of like let's say for example purple and like layer on top of each other to make these beautiful um, pansy flowers we've got some happy birthdays wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you the little things you do make such a big difference a little hello from me to you love you much etc this is a book lover stamp set we've got stacks of books vertical stacks horizontal stacks all kinds of stacks and we've got some individual books as well as a feather pen there very cute speaking of feathers we've got this stamp set with a bunch of feathers and some flowers and this stamp set is peter pan themed it's not the disney peter pan although i think it's like meant to be like a look-alike kind of thing so you'd have um john and michael and peter and wendy tinkerbell Second star to the right and straight on till morning. The clock tower um, there. Stars and just think of happy thoughts and you will fly. I just thought they were really cute and they were like a dollar something, I think. We've got another set of nesting dice, some rectangles this time. We have another one of these sets here. Forest Witch is the name of this one. So once again, lots of little pieces. These stickers look like stamps. They've got the little scalloped edges when you peel them up. 
some little tags, papers. Did I tell you guys about the eagle owl that I met a couple months ago? The eagle owl that was in one of the Harry Potter movies that was Draco's owl. Um, that owl's been in like a bunch of movies and TV shows and stuff. And they were at um, our local grocery store for a couple days just like taking pictures with people and stuff. And I got to pet the owl and she was really, really pretty. And yeah. Anyway, here are some of the papers in this set. And the last item before we test the, the cutting dies and the stamps is another paper pack. And can I get it open? All right, so there's this vellum envelope that it comes in, which you know I can also put into a journal. So we have some really just beautiful, beautiful papers. Okay, so for the rest of the video, we're going to test the cutting dies to see how they work in um, my Sizzix die cut machine. And we're going to be swatching, or not swatching, testing the stamps. So please stick around for that part. I'll turn on some music and just let you kind of watch. Um, and in the meantime, um, yeah, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Okay, so here's what I learned. The die cuts work actually pretty well. Um, they're not nearly as nice as like Tim Holtz dies, etc., but they work well. And I will be pulling them apart to use them separately, but I just wanted to test them all together. 
And as far as the stamps go, pretty dang good. Now, because I was testing so many stamps at one time, there could have been some that didn't come out exactly right. For example, the Mad Hatter, because this part was in the center of the acrylic block, and so I couldn't put as much pressure there. But I feel like for the most part, these stamps are gonna be really nice to work with. My favorite ones were here from this set with the feathers and the flowers. I think they just came out gorgeously. Um, and I'm really, really excited to use them. So that brings us to the end of this Timu haul and um, also a little sticky club unboxing. So I'm going to send you off to enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish crafting day. Happy crafting and collecting and stamping and shopping and whatever. Adios.